Hi guys. So it's day two in book review catch up week on my blog and the book I want to tell you about today was Flirtation Walk by Siri Mitchell. And once again, I did receive this book for free in exchange for a review on my blog, um, which this is kind of a part of that. So I want to tell you a bit about this book. I requested it because I've read other things by Siri Mitchell, and I really like her her fiction. I've read um, contemporary fiction by her and historical fiction, um, and I think she really shines with historical fiction. I think that that's, um, and I think it's just because I feel like her historical fiction is so well thought out and well researched. Um, and I'm sure everybody who writes historical fiction, you know, does their research, but she, uh, the reason I like hers especially, is she always puts a little chapter in it explaining, like, basically her research and why she chose to put the characters in certain situations. So there is that at the end of this book, too, which I always enjoy kind of hearing the thought process behind it. And, mm -hmm. um... But this book is about um, a cadet in the, in the West Point Military Academy, um and a girl who moves to a town near there, um, and her father was a con man. So I thought I'd go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the plot than what it says on the back, just because um, from what the, you know, the plot description on the back, it, I felt like it didn't um, grip me as much as the book did when I really got into it. So um, basically the cadet at the military academy he, um, his sister is basically taken in by a con man and is stuck at a fort out east. And so he is, you know, top of his class, going to probably be in the Corps of Engineers, but, um, he is trying to get out to help his sister. So he decides he needs to be able to get into the cavalry, which is usually takes, I guess, the lower, um, classmen, the, the people who are not at the top of their class. Um, so he decides to start to try to, um, get some demerits and, you know, make his grades worse so that he will get assigned to the cavalry. And then on the other end, there's a girl whose father is a con man and she moves to Buttermilk Falls, which is near the military academy. And she doesn't want anybody to know that her father was a con man um, and kind of lies and, and does things like um, in a dishonest way to try to, like, establish herself there to build a new life for herself. Um, but it's kind of, I thought it was interesting how each of the characters kind of came from a different side of it. There was, like, a, a honest, you know, upstanding cadet who is all of a sudden doing all these crazy things, trying to get, um, you know, d demerits, and, and so he would, you know, kind of messing messing up his, like, good track record there. And then there's the girl with the not-so-good track record who's coming trying to establish herself um, as more of an upstanding citizen. So it was interesting. Um, I would say you probably should give it about a third of the way in because I felt like this book did start a little slower than some of her other books did. I felt like that it took a little bit more build-up to get to the good um, plot uh, plot points in it. But I always love her historical fiction. I really enjoy her writing. So I definitely would recommend this one. Um, I guess I should tell you like the stars that I would give it, but I didn't really think that through. I'd probably give this four stars. Um, maybe 4.5. I liked it. I thought it was good. I'm, I never know when to give something five stars or not. Like sometimes I feel like I'm too generous with my five star ratings. And sometimes I feel like maybe I get a little bit too picky about it. But anyway, this was a good one. I enjoyed it. So I would definitely recommend it if you like historical fiction.